movement has helped people and built the global society we live in today. Now stopping movement is not the answer to solve the climate issue. We want to offer people the freedom to move in a sustainable way. And also be frank about the climate issue cannot and will not be solved slowly and gradually by improving petrol and diesel engines. Pure electric cars running on and built using renewable energy are the only cars that can really do it. And also be honest about the fact that electric cars are better for the environment when they are driven. But building an electric car consumes more energy than a car with an internal combustion engine. So it all comes back, both running cars and building cars comes back to the supply for renewable power. Wind, water and sun. Now this is an, this is an issue the car industry alone cannot solve. We need cities, we need states, we need countries. We need help to build an infrastructure and supply of renewable energy so that people can charge their cars in a sustainable way. Now we will do our part, we will do what we can, but we also need help. Now let's get to the car behind me. This is really an amazing car. It's been a fantastic journey for me since the beginning of the development. It's a car of firsts and it's a car of the future. It's the first Volvo to run an infotainment system that will have an experience as good as that of your mobile phone. It's the first Volvo to continuously become better over time because its software is updated always over the air. And most importantly, the XC40 Recharge is the first fully electric car from Volvo. And let's talk a bit about it. It's electric without compromise. It's based on our compact modular architecture that was built ground up for electrification, which means that the batteries, as you can see outside, and on the screen here, have been placed in the center of the floor without any impact on the interior space. And that's despite the battery's considerable size for this relatively small car. In fact, the XC40 Recharge adds storage space compared to the internal combustion variant by adding space and storage where the combustion engine normally is in the front. Now these large batteries, they mean you can go over 400 kilometers in one go and you'll be able to charge back up to 80% of that in 40 minutes with a fast charger. Okay, for those who are interested, let's talk a bit about the technical specification. What are we looking at here? Starting with the battery. We're looking at a battery with 78 kilowatt hour of energy capacity. 408 horsepowers in two electrical machines then adding up to 300 kilowatts. So together they give you the impressive 660 newton meters of torque and 0 to 100 in an SUV in 4.9 seconds. But that's not all. And this is perhaps the most interesting part. To make the car feel more personal, we are fundamentally rethinking infotainment. Now, powered with Android, the new infotainment system offers unprecedented personalization. And it's more intuitive than any system like it before it. Now, we're the first company to team up with Google to integrate an infotainment system powered by the Android operating system and the, with the Google technologies built in from start. We've been in joint development with Google for years now and it's really a pleasure and we're super excited to stand here today and launch this technology in this new car. Now of course the cars are fully connected 
They come, as I said, with Google Assistant, Google Maps, and with evolve with a new array of automotive apps developed by the global developer community for Android. Now the real-time maps will keep the drivers informed about upcoming traffic situations, to avoid congestion, to save energy, and of course as well, to suggest the nearest charging station when you're running low. And also let's admit that voice control in cars have historically had its issues. Now this completely changed with the Google Assistant. This will be a voice control that works every time you use it and that will understand what you're trying to do. Now what does it allow you to do? Well, as a user in this car, you can of course use the Assistant to manage all the in-car functionality. You can set the climate in the air conditioning system. You can choose destination in the navigation system. You can also play music, of course, in one of the apps such as Spotify. You can search the web. Or you can stay connected to friends using text messaging. And it improves over time. Exactly as your Google Assistant in home or in your phone, which gets better basically every day, so does the Assistant in the car. And in fact, the whole car gets better over time. The XC40 Recharge is our first Volvo to receive updates over the air, both for the operating system itself, but also for all software inside the vehicle. It can be updated over the air. Now this will of course allow the car to be up to date, but it also allows us to add and offer new features and new functions to the customer in their home. So the XC40 will stay as fresh as your phone or tablet. No longer a car's best day is the day it leaves the factory. So it allows you to stay in the car longer, enjoying it being fresher every day, which is also of course good for the environment. Now finally, and this should go without saying in a Volvo car, the XC40 recharge is safe. Now that is what Volvo customers expect, that's what you should expect, and that's what we deliver. Now regardless of what drives a Volvo forward, be it a combustion engine, electric machines, a Volvo should always be safe. Now we have made cars with combustion engines for over 90 years. This is our first fully electric vehicle. And to make an electric vehicle safe has its unique challenges. The front structure, the side structure, the rear structure, all of it has been adapted as we remove the engine from the front and we place the heavy batteries in the center of the floor. Now this car also has a completely new pilot assist and active safety platform and it's the first Volvo to run on software developed by Zenuity, ready for the future and for more advanced applications. So in short, the XC40 Recharge will be one of the safest cars we have ever built, as you could and should expect. The XC40 Recharge is the first for Volvo. It's a big milestone for us, and it's an insight for what the future will look like. The future is electric, and we are super committed to go all in on it.